Hey guys, Techniverse here. So, I had started making this uh, a couple days ago. This is a prototype for a light I'm working to, on to put up here. Uh, since it's a prototype, I decided to be a little bit hasty, and I didn't want to wait, so I cranked up the speed on my Ender 3, which you'll see here in a minute. And I just actually had somebody ask me if the Capricorn tube was improving the quality of something printed at speed in my last video. The last video I made was the Capricorn tube review. I had a gentleman ask me if I'd noticed any difference in printing at speeds and it just so happens that I happen to be printing something at 300% right now and it seems to be working pretty damn well. So we're going to take a look at the model here. You can see a little stringy guy there, um, but the model itself is looking pretty well. We will re-examine this when it's done printing. This is a simple little technivorous sign I'm making for my print space. So. We are about a third of the way done with it, a little over a quarter, and we'll continue popping in and watching it, making sure it is continuing to work at speed. Although, at this point, I feel like I could crank it up at least another 100%. It seems to be coming out pretty decent quality, and we won't be able to really judge it until the end, so I'd like to see what the quality of this print is before I go cranking it up any further. Alright, this is my prototype light that I am printed at 300% speed. As you can see, you can see little layer lines in there. Not too bad though. Uh, and this is why you do prototypes. So when I designed this, uh, I didn't set my scale right in Blender. So I had to size it up and when I did that it made the walls really, really thick. So um, that's a little excessive, but not too bad. Let's take another look here with my camera light off and you can see the light behind the logo there. So this is going to be made larger. I'm going to need to reduce the thickness of this wall so you don't get such shadow around the lettering. It'll make it a little easier to see. And the size of this is going to be about tripled. So this was as big as I could print one whole piece on the Ender 3. And the reason that I did that, like I said, was uh, to get an idea of what I'm doing here. This is just a prototype. but. As nice as this turned out at 300% speed, there was a bit of a defect. Now, this is the bottom surface um, because this was on my build plate. And you can see here some heavy vibrational ringing. Now, um, I could hear it when it was getting to this point in the model and you could hear it scraping across there and hear the vibration. Uh, that stopped after a little ways up and it only affects this spot right here. Uh, if I had done a better job leveling my bed, I feel like this corner was a little bit high and if I had adjusted it properly, I wouldn't have this artifact here. I did level it, but obviously it wasn't perfect because it was just this one corner that was sticking up and causing that scraping and vibration. Uh, and then out towards the end here, same corner, same defect, just a little bit less pronounced and only happens slightly throughout the layers. Other than that, excuse me, I think I'm getting a little bit of a cold, I apologize for sniffling. Um, other than that, it actually came out pretty nice, uh, especially for being 300% speed. Um, my PEI sheet is obviously in bad repair. You can see all the scrapes and divots that are in it. I need to replace that or find a way to smooth the surface. I do have another sheet, but uh, all in all, let's turn the light back on for one more second here. So this is what we're looking at. This is what my sign's gonna look like. It is gonna be larger than this, but so far so good. I like the way that it's coming out. We need to make a few adjustments. Like I said, we need to make that wall a little bit smaller. Uh, when I print the full thing, I think I'm going to be printing it at around 200 to 250% speed. 300 was a little high, as you noticed from the ringing. But for the most part, this model actually turned out really well for uh, something that was supposed to be an eight hour print and it took around two hours and 10 minutes. So not bad at all if you're just looking for prototype mock-up parts that need to be relatively dimensional, ac dimensionally accurate, but you don't need perfect surfaces. This is perfect for that. 
Um, I also think that around 150 to 200 percent with the cap tube, you're going to be achieving a lot better look than I got here. I mean, this is 300 times, yeah, 300 percent speed. So it's three times the normal speed. So um, yeah, the cap tube was a big improvement. If I had tried, to, I've tried to do 300 percent before. Um, when I first got it, I was using that yellow Amazon PLA and I wanted to see what the limits were and I got decent prints up to about 130% Anything after that was ridiculously under extruded. So uh, This is actually really really impressive and I'm very happy with it. So there you go another improvement that can be made by cap tubing is Print speed and it makes a big difference. So yeah, I'm gonna throw the link to their official site in the description down below Go ahead and check that out. If you'd like to try CapTube for yourself, I highly recommend it. Uh, I'm having a great experience so far, and I think that you'll enjoy it as well. Thanks, guys. And as always guys, I am Technivorous, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button, you can subscribe right here by clicking on the icon. And I put a couple videos up in the corner, one of them is going to be my latest video, my latest upload, and the other one is going to be what YouTube recommends for you, so feel free to check those out. Don't forget to hit that bell for notifications down below, and we'll see you guys next time.